Hello everybody, thanks for checking out another video from How to Webmaster. My name is Leon and today I will be setting up this SEO Studio website and I'll leave a link to the demo and also to my new website that I'm building with SEO Studio. So basically it is a site with a bunch of SEO tools. So let's go down here, enter in a website to get started with. I'm going to use one of my other website as an example, articlespinnerreviews.com. Let's get started. Okay, up here you can see my website name. And now there are these tools for the search engines. Google search engine results, Bing search engine results, index pages, top search queries, sitemap, Alexa rank, and all these other ones, backlinks, mobile support test, speed test, so some very useful tools. Let's check out the first one, the Google search engine ranking position. This tool will check what is your ranking for a certain keyword. So let me enter in article spinner, click on test, and almost instantly you will see here my site did not appear in the first 97 results. And it gives you a bunch of rankings from Google search engine results for this keyword, article spinner. And these are all the websites and their titles. So my website is not in the top 97 search engine results. So let's try a different keyword. Okay, the best binner. Let's click on test. And for this particular keyword, it is number 12 in the search results. So let's look for that right here. Okay, number 12. Okay, let's go back to SEO Studio and try or click on tools here to try something else. Okay, there's a lot of tools. I'm not going to try them all right now, but let's do one more. Keyword research. And right here I did article spinner for United States. And you can also use uh, different countries if you want to test. And here are the keywords and similar keywords to my chosen targeted keyword right here, article spinner. And it shows the search volume and also the cost per click for all these related keywords. So that's really cool and useful. So I will be setting all these up, this entire website on my own domain. And this is the script right here, SEO Studio, Professional Tools for SEO by Bailey Herbert. And you can get it from Code Canyon. I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check it out and also check out the demo. Here's the information. Again, uh, all these tools you can use or set up on your own site and offer to your visitors or members and users. These are a set of great tools for your website, especially if you offer marketing services, SEO services. So really, really good to have on your website. Okay, let's get ready and install this website. So once you make the purchase, log into your Code Canyon account, go and find the script SEO Studio right here. I made a lot of purchases, so yours probably won't have this many items in there. Click on the download button, download all files and documentations, just like that. And you can see it downloading down here. Okay, once it's downloaded, open up the zip file, just double click on it, and then just highlight everything and drag it out to your folder or desktop or wherever. And the first thing I like to do is always check out the documentation which shows you how to set up the website. So click on that and then click on getting started. So this is how you install the application or the script. Seems pretty simple and straightforward. Upload the files and then navigate to the install.php file in your browser. Okay, that's pretty much it. Simple enough. Let's go back. So these are the files right here. Upload these files and the source. If you're a coder, a programmer, then you can edit the source. So you don't need to mess around with that. You just need to upload these files right here. So upload this. So there's only one file. Upload this to your web server. Okay, log into your web hosting account. The majority of web hosting account uses cPanel, so yours will probably be cPanel as well. It may look a little bit different depending on your web hosting provider, but everything, all the features should be very similar. Look for something called File Manager, and let's open that. And here, navigate to public HTML, and if this is a brand new domain with no files, there's no website, then you can upload directly 
the install file here but if you already have a website then you may want to create a new folder for instance you can click here create a new folder and call it whatever like SEO and you can upload the file to this SEO folder if you want but for me I'm going to just upload it directly to my public HTML folder since I don't have any website on this domain okay so to do this click on upload and you can verify right here that you're uploading to the public HTML so whatever is the last folder shown here in this address directory that's the folder I'm uploading to and you can use FTP if you want to upload files like FileZilla that's up to you but I find cPanel is the easiest way so right now you can drag the file into here to upload or click on select the file so let me just drag and drop just to make it nice and simple and there it is it's uploading okay it's done let's go back and you can see here it's uploaded and the next step is to navigate to this install.php within your browser okay so here's my website free seo cloud slash install.php okay and now we just need to follow this setup wizard okay click the button below okay here's the license agreement let's click on accept now it's gonna check the server now you need to activate the product by logging in to the Envato account which is Code Canyon where you purchase the script from so click here to sign in now you get this alert and you need to approve it and I'm already logged in to my Envato or Code Canyon account it is now verified thank you for purchasing let's continue okay now it's asking for you to enter in a database so let's go make one from cPanel once again go here and scroll down to where it says databases click on my SQL databases okay let's create a new database name you can call it whatever you want okay SEO just to keep it simple create database now go back and let's scroll down here to add new user and let's create a new user you can name it whatever you want and add in the passwords okay it's done let's create user okay successfully created the user let's go back and now we need to add the user to the database so scroll all the way down and then make sure you select the, the user you just created from the drop down and then the database same thing click on add on this page click on all privileges and then click on make changes so basically you're adding the user to this database with all these privileges so that we can install this script so now you need to enter in the same details that was just created okay just like this the host name 99% of the time is going to be just local host so leave that as default database name make sure you have your cPanel username underscore followed by the database name and then username is the same thing make sure it's this format then click on test okay once that's successfully connected with your database now you need to create your account this is the first admin account okay click continue okay review your settings automatically install new updates okay I'll leave that checked and this is default send error details to the developers and if you want to send anonymous usage details to the developer and definitely do not enable this show errors publicly on the script okay let's continue now it is installing the script for you uh, this may take a few minutes it says okay now it's asking for the cron job setup so this will automatically update your site with new details for the SEO tools or for new updates and there's two ways to do it either the manual setup which will probably require the cPanel cron jobs or you can do the instant setup which uses their cloud servers to ping your cron job every few hours so that seems pretty easy so let's do that and uh, they're setting this up and it may take a minute nope it only took a few seconds okay 
and successfully ping the cron job. Everything is working properly. Let's continue. Okay, in this step, it says if you want free proxy service so that this script can use the free service to automatically proxy the Google queries, which means that some of the tools requires things like search engine ranking positions. It has to go to Google and then find the ranking positions for keywords. So, okay, it's free, so let's, why not? Enter in your email to enable. Okay, let's enable it. So it is now enabling the proxy. All right, the installation is now complete. Click below to clean up the installer and redirect to the new site or script. Clean up and finish. Okay, so here it is. This is the admin dashboard at my site, freeseo.cloud, and I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check it out. So let me go to load up the new site to see how it looks. So exactly uh, like in the demo, let me check out the Google search engine ranking position. Let me enter in my website, article spinner reviews, and enter in a keyword to test. It did not appear in the 96 position. All right, so at least it seems to be working. Let me try that again with review at the end. Let's click on test. Okay, so at least it's working. It is in the 76th position for my website. Okay, so that was pretty pretty fast, pretty harmless to install. One of the easiest install I've ever seen so far with a Code Canyon script. Pretty happy uh, with the results. And you can customize pretty much everything, the logo, uh, the text here, disable, enable the tools directly from your admin dashboard. So they made this script very professional and easy to use. I'm very happy with it. Uh, but that's all for this video, part one. The setup was very easy and the tools work right out of the box. There's nothing complicated to configure. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Please leave it down in the comments below. And again, I'll leave the links to my new site, freeseo.cloud for you guys to check out. Also link to the SEO studio from Code Canyon. Please subscribe to my channel, How to Webmaster, for more tip tricks, updates, and reviews, and new website builds. Uh, thanks so much, and until next time, Happy webmastering.